girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And guys, get ready because someone aka Bethany Franco probably and they are saying that the reckoning of reality TV is coming the end is near we need to prepare the like changes are coming and girl we need to talk about it because I have thoughts yes I mm, mm, look I don't know so anyways <laughs> I, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, so we need to talk about this. So as you know, Bethany Franco came the other day because the actors are striking, the writers are striking, you know, so like they, they are on a strike. Wait, how do you say it? Striking or are on a strike? Latino moment, guys. You know what I mean, you know? So they basically were like, uh, Bethany was like, mm, I'm bored. I don't have anything to do right now. What about we just start like, doing like messing everything around you know and she went on and she started talking about how reality stars they don't have any like support they don't have union they don't have anything and that she was going to like go after it you know and she was gonna talk to everyone you know and she claims that she has over a hundred reality stars that is going to that they're going to uh you know rely behind her to create an union for equal rights and equal everything for everyone okay now we have a letter that these lawyers sent to NBC and uh, Bravo, okay? And they're accusing them of creating all of this shit, you know? And if, I mean, it's not like an official anything. It's not a lawsuit. It's not nothing, you know? It's basically kind of like a letter, you know? Kind of like, like we are thinking about this. Like, we see you, you know? Like, things better be changing soon, Okay. So it says some reality stars have gone scorch earth against NBC and it appears in particular Bravo claiming it reality stars have been subject to grotesque and depraved mistreatment. TMC has obtained a letter sent by attorneys Brian Friedman and Mark Gragos to NBC claiming current and former cast and crew members of its reality shows have been tormented amongst the allegations. Uh, they they talk about uh, deliberate attempts to manufacture mental instability by playing cast members with alcohol while depriving them of food and sleep, denying mental health treatment to cast members, displaying obvious and alarming signs of mental deterioration, exploiting minors for uncompensated and sometimes long-term appearance on NBC reality TV shows, uh, disturbing and or condoning the distribution of non-consensual pornography, covering acts of sexual violence, refusing to allow cast members the freedom to leave their shows even under dire circumstances, etc., etc. The pornographic claims is interesting in the letter. The lawyers mention distribution of revenge porn, though they do not elaborate. The letter demands that NBC retain a slow of information, including non-consensual pornography in connection with cast members' alleged sexual violence perpetrated by or against cast members. The lawyers claim NBC has threatened cast members with ruin should they decided to speak out about their mistreatment. Uh, okay, so, this is what I have to say, and this is going to be a little bit controversial, but bitch, we have to keep it real, okay? Look, I believe that there are certain rights that they should have, okay? I do believe, I, I didn't knew that people were not getting, like, royalties or residuals or whatever it's called you know i honestly thought that oh every single time that you know a show is on air like people are getting something like the tv shows right so that part i do agree that 
every single person who is on a reality show should be getting, you know, some kind of payment literally for the rest of their lives as long as the shows are being played, right? That part, I agree a lot. The other part, to me, it's a little bit of a rich, to be very honest with you. Every single one of these reality stars know what they're getting into, okay? It's 2023. I think the, the portion of people who, be, who are on a reality TV show, who are not, like, who doesn't have friends or anyone related to the reality TV show world are very minimum. Like, it's very hard to find right now new reality stars because they want everyone to be connected with everyone. They want only people who is being recommended by people on the business, you know? Everyone knows. And even if you are not on the business, you know what reality TV is. You know, you will have to be very dumb to not know what reality TV really is. So, but if, you, if you're going to come here and we're going to be talking about Nini Leakes, Raquel Levis, Bethany Frankel, um, I don't know, any of the other like reality TV shows, they knew what they were getting into. This is a, a part of, of entertainment industry that it could probably be like kind of like the easiest to get into okay these are not tv shows you don't need you know are not required to be an actor or to have a talent or to be a singer or any of that shit you know so anyone can do it and every single person who has been on a reality show is because they have been thirsty thirsty for fame thirsty for money Thirsty for become something that they want to do, you know? It is what it is. Or you want the exposure, you know? Maybe you're a doctor and you want to become a bigger doctor. Maybe you're a lawyer who wants more cases. Maybe you're a singer who is unknown and now, you know, you're going to have a huge platform. Maybe you have a thousand business that you just want to promote out there. They know what they're getting into, you know? So it's kind of like a little bit annoying to me that now they're acting like, Oh my God, they treat us so badly. Um, I don't know. You know, to me, it's like you, you know what you're doing, right? When they're talking about their, their, their revenge porn, that's very clearly talking about Raquel Levis, you know? And at the end of the day, Raquel Levis was cheating with Tom Sandoval, you know? And, he's, and revenge porn... It's supposed to be when you take the video and you send it to everyone, right? That's not what Tom Sandoval did. He kept it to himself. Now that Ariana found it on the phone, it's a different thing. So, you know what? It's kind of like all of these, the whole, the, like, oh, uh, having them uh, underage people. Who is decision is to have them there? The parents are the ones who are choosing to put their families out there. You know, so that's the part that I'm like a little bit. What do you mean? What are you trying to say with this? Um, the only thing that I agree with this, it's the financial part, to be very honest with you. I do agree that these people put all of their lives out there. They make mistakes. They they drag each other. They fight. But they're doing it because they're thirsty for fame. They're doing it because they want their 50 minutes of fame. Some of them works, you know, and they stay together and, and they stay there for decades if possible. Others, maybe just one season, right? But they get what they want. So, I mean, when it comes to Bethany Frankel, I'm like, focus yourself on, cre on creating the union if you want to, you know, but don't try to come here and say like everyone is a victim, that no one knew what, were they, what they were doing. You know, you know, you know, when it comes to my mind, Lala Kent on the last uh, reunion of Vanderpump Rules, when she said, stop with the war bullying. You know, we are all adults here. No one is bullying anyone. You know what you're getting into. That's exactly when it comes to my mind. It's like, stop with all this bullshit, you know? 
And um, and Bethany saying like, oh yeah, everyone should like like boycott BravoCon. Bitch, shut up. <laughs> because no, okay. Work on what you have to do, to work. You know how many people have been also working so hard to go to freaking BravoCon, myself included. I mean, I know probably Bravo will give everyone their money back, but you know what I mean. It's like a, like it's just too much, you know financially do whatever you want i will agree with all the financial thing uh, clauses that you want to create you know get more money i do believe that just like actors and uh, just like i'm sorry just like ne um, studios get all the money you know and the actors don't get anything i do think that that's unfair so work on that Work for, for, for you and the future generations of reality stars to get the, the money that they deserve, you know? But then what are we going to be watching? Do we want to watch shows of like, let's all sit down around the table, drink some tea, and let's talk about the weather. Oh, so beautiful. Is that one, what, what, are, what are we going to be watching? Drama is part of these shows. Not only Housewife, not only Bravo shows. Go and watch The Amazing Race. Go and watch Survivor. Go and watch uh, Special Forces, Stars on Mars, or whatever show that you want to, The Simple Life, like every single show that you have seen on history. Drama is always a part of these shows because that's what the human enjoys. That's why we watch these shows, you know? So, how, what, what is going to be, you know? So, my advice, financially, do whatever you want. I will agree with whatever you want to put out there. Because I do believe that if you are embarrassing yourself on TV for eternity, then you should be getting money in, uh, in return for eternity, you know? But all of the other things, that's a reach. That's a reach because every single person here is an adult, you know? So, they know what they're doing. And the few minors that have been on these shows, the parents are responsible for them, you know? So that to me was, mm -mm. But anyways, that's my unsolicited opinion as usual. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think it should happen next? Are you going to be boycotting BravoCon? I have no idea. Let me know. And if you want to get all the tea related to, you know, this Bravo mess, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever.